Hey. <laughs> I made it back. Yes, I made it. Hey. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Let's see if I can get some light over here. This might be all the light I can get. This might be all the light I can get. <laughs> I hope you guys can see me. <laughs> it's Adrian Capricorn Tigress of Astrology Inside.com. And I'm doing something different tonight. I'm trying to do TikTok and do YouTube at the same time. Now, I'm not sure how this is coming off on either platform, but I'm like, hey, let's why not try it? It's a big night. Let's do it. So what's the big deal? The sun has moved into Pisces. It's Pisces season. It's Pisces season. Let's dance. Hey, it's Pisces. It's Pisces season. Now, not everybody wants to dance over that. I'm just saying. I, I kind of want to dance over it because I got Jupiter in Pisces. But not everybody has Jupiter in Pisces. So we're going to be talking about some of the changes, massive changes that are going to be happening because of this influence of Pisces. Pisces is going to be taking over a lot of what we've been dealing with. We've been dealing with Aquarius. Now we're going to be dealing with Pisces. And Pisces is, has a reputation of being a very pleasant sign. It's not always that pleasant. Jupiter's the same way, the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is pleasant but because it's a beneficial planet, but it, sometimes it's too much of a good thing. And I'm concerned that we might have the same occurrence with Pisces planets because Pisces tends to be a little bit confused at times. It's nebulous. It's uncertain. You don't always know when it comes to Pisces. Pisces doesn't always know. So how can how, how can we know uh, when they don't always know? Um, and I'm saying this because I've got my progressed son in Pisces. So I feel like I am going to talk about this because I do have my progressed son in Pisces right now. And um, I just wanted to say we are about to go into a new moon in Pisces uh, in a few hours, actually. We've, we're already at zero degrees and 13 minutes. We've been in Pisces for 13 minutes already. I came on. Um, I tried to do this exactly, you guys. Now, let you, you're going to be like, why does she want to do it exactly? Okay. So I was born with... Zero degrees. I'm gonna. I'm looking right now, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. Y'all, you're like, we don't need to know, but I'm gonna tell you, okay? I'm gonna tell you anyway. <laughs> oh, I just realized they. I have to log in. So here's the thing. I want to say that my second house, cuss, like my second house, is zero degrees of Pisces, right? So I just want to make sure that um. I pull up my chart. I just want to make sure because this is all on my second house and everybody wants the sun on their second house. I mean, if it's positive, right? Because that's money. I'm just usually. Um, so I'm pulling up the chart. I'm going to see if I can show this chart on YouTube. Maybe if you're on YouTube, you'll be able to see what I'm seeing. Hopefully if I can do it. Uh, so my second house is zero degrees in 53 minutes. So I'm actually about uh, 30 minutes before it hits my second house. It's still in my first house. <laughs> I have the biggest first house, you guys. Oh my gosh. If you have seen 
some me on TikTok or YouTube. I think on YouTube I've got something like 1700 videos. On TikTok, I don't know. I just make videos all the time. Because what do you do when you have a big first house? My first house starts at 17 degrees of Capricorn and doesn't leave until zero degrees and 53 minutes of Pisces. It's huge, huge. And the eighth house is it's even bigger um, or has more planets in it, I should say. The, the second and the eighth house in my chart is huge. I just realized my progressed sun is in my second house. I need to be making the money. Now, look. Let's talk about where the planets are, because I will. I won't digress into my own horoscope chart, and since everybody can't see it, it can be frustrating. I tell you what, I'll do a, um, I'll do a Zoom or something where I can show you guys my horoscope chart, because literally my son is on my ascendant, like literally, okay? And I would love to do your horoscope charts too. So anyone who wants to have their horoscope chart done... Uh, you know, follow and like me because I'll do it for you. I, I love that. I, I do. I love helping people understand their horoscope charts, understand what's going on in their horoscopes and prepare for what might be coming their way. Cause that's the big thing. We don't always know what's coming and that's what gets us into trouble with astrology. Anyway, the moon right now is at 14 degrees of Aquarius. That means it's, you know, it's, it's trekking through. We got a few hours. Mercury's at 11 degrees of Aquarius. That means that the moon and Mercury are conjoined. And so we could be really emotional in our communications. And I got to be honest, I wanted to come and say something emotional. I did. I'm not sure I'm going to do it, but I wanted to just come and say something that might have been, you know, controversial. Maybe I'll say that. I don't know. But I will say this, with all the emphasis in Pisces, we're going to have the new moon in Pisces tomorrow. We have the sun in Pisces. On the 7th, Saturn is going into Pisces, where it's going to be sitting out and hanging out for two years. Um, Pisces, even though Sagittarius is known for it, Pisces does rule the way we, our belief system. Like it is, I don't want to say our fantasies, but it is our fantasies. Pisces is like very creative. I always feel like it's just like a wave of nebulousness that floats through the atmosphere. Some of us pick up on that message that Pisces and Neptune and Jupiter want to share with us. Some of us don't, but it's, it's highly creative, highly creative. I have a fear, though, because we're talking about Saturn. And I almost want to cry because I feel like creativity itself may be stamped out. You know, there's a lot of talk about them getting rid of TikTok, right? Because of whatever reason. I'm, I'm almost teary. Some people's philosophies are going to affect the creativity of others. Now, you think I might be kidding about Saturn, right? Let me tell you how literal Saturn is. When Saturn went into Aquarius, we literally, literally were blocked from communicating and interacting with each other. What does Aquarius rule? Interactions with other people. Saturn is that restrictive, and I really think it's going to be restricting in our lives. It's going to be restricting things like religion, astrology, the healing practice, creativity, music. Have you noticed even on TikTok, the music has already started being restricted? Have you noticed this? I got into their commercial program. Now there are certain songs I can't get to anymore. That expect more of that. Expect more less music. Um, and the thing that's making me want to cry the most is about what's going on with Ron DeSantis down in Florida. I'm not even in Florida, I'm in Seattle. We're much more progressive, obviously, than that. But uh, you know, book burning, burning books, burning creativity. 
Literally, it's starting, you guys. And I feel like it's our responsibility to make sure that whatever this ugly, nebulous, restrictive Saturn thing is that wants to attack and get into the the Piscean create creativeness, creativity and like nip it in the buds. Like, no, no, we don't want to hear about your creative ideas. We don't want to hear your music. We don't want to know about how you're, you know, whatever it is. Like, you're, uh, I'm, I'm afraid of witch burning. Right? We're, we're in the 21st century. I'm afraid that we're going, it's, it's, uh, it's like creeping back to medieval times. Like, what the F? We have got to put a stop to it. Now, know what's coming, people. Saturn in Pisces restricts the creative flow, and we are not going to let it happen. Pisces flows. Saturn and Pisces don't flow together. They're not flowing. It's going to stop. It's going to try to damn it. Now, what ways do you restrict water? Have you heard about the water restrictions? Some people on TikTok have already talked about this. I've seen them. There, there was something they said where Biden was. Um, uh, oh, they were determining the the like the what's the word I'm looking for? Where they map it all out? Who the, the territorial waters? Territorial waters? Territorial waters? Like they're controlling our water? Look, I'm telling you, Neptune rules water. Pisces rules water. All of that flow, whether it's the creative, the acting, actors, actors, acting, uh, dancing, uh, music, books, anything that has to do with the creative flow is going to be messed with or halted. And I feel like we've got to be on top of this now so that we can make sure that we put a nip, nip that in the bud. Whatever medieval times they're trying to bring back, we need to nip that in the bud, okay, before it gets out of hand. And uh, it starts March 7th. Saturn gets into uh, Pisces on March 7th. So I can feel it already, but you might really feel it March 7th and after. Now, there's a couple of other ways come into play and how we might see how it all starts to affect us and one of the uh, by the way i see people who are trying to get in on this this conversation go live i'm going to accept you guys in a minute i don't i i I just want to get this out because i don't know how to do it because other people want to get and fight a tiktok but the thing is i feel like um we've got two years of this so how is it, you know, it might be more people working, Saturn work, it rules work, it's task, you know, um, but more people may be working in a creative field or just feeling that they're, I just sense there's going to be a block. And I really feel like the block is going to come if, especially in the U.S., if they actually do ban TikTok like they really want to do, which is the most creative uh, platform on the Internet right now. And I'm sorry, it doesn't matter what country it comes from. Uh, uh, you know, perfection is perfection. TikTok is perfection. YouTube, I love you. That's why I'm co-streaming uh, platforms. But, you know, I just feel like we're in the midst of a we're about to lose you guys so i really want you to protect your creative projects your creations um if you have to copyright things do that if you know if you have to hide the, i don't know i did i i just look when i listen to desantis talk sometimes i'm like are we going back to like world war ii like what they did to the, the Jewish people, like that's how they started, right? They burned their synagogues. They they burned their books. They got rid of their history. That's what they did. That's how it starts. So if we are going, I hope we're not all going to just sit by and watch it. Like I hope that people are going to speak out when they see it because like that's why we shouldn't get rid of history because if you, you don't know the history, you're doomed to repeat it. Literally, this man sounds like a recording when he says, stop the woke. It's how, you can just replace woke with 
Jews. I mean, really, I'm sorry. It's disgusting. So we got to stop it. Really. We're, we are to, a, we've seen this. We're not stupid. I mean, yeah, you can try to burn the books now, but there's movies, there's plays, there's, like, we're not dumb. People are not stupid. You can't just erase life. Like, people lived, and they were here, and they made contributions, and you can't make pretend that didn't happen because you're racist. It's disgusting. And let me tell you something. Pisces rules things like racist. Why? Because it's things like, well, really, that's Sagittarius, but it's it's the philosophy, it's the belief system that goes back to that. It goes back to the confusion of it all, because Pisces also rules compu- confusion. So expect a lot of that. Some people are going to be in the middle and not know what to do, not what how to think, how to feel, because they're going to be in the confused, like, oh, oh, I don't know, I can't decide, I can't decide. Make a de- make a decision, okay. Also, they always say there's no such thing as good and evil, right and wrong. It's like we're all just living in this, like, I don't know, world of it could be anything. But we're going to, there is going to be a definitive line of what feels good and what feels wrong. And we're going to, we're going to have to make a choice in this that what feels good and what feels wrong for whatever reason. Sometimes it might even go against your own best interest. But if you know in your heart, like, look, even a dog knows when it does something wrong. It does. Have you ever seen a dog do something wrong? They'll come to you with that look like. They know they did something wrong. And this is the same thing. They know. Like, y'all seen that video of his kids out there screaming N-word, 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 N-word. That's what's coming out of that household. N word, N word, N word, N word, N word, N word. That can't happen. I don't know why people are not doing more. I'm just saying. Now, we may see that because, you know, Pisces squares Sagittarius. So expect a lot of, I would say, potential upheaval in politics because Sagittarius, that's politics. Um. I, I, I think there's going to be a lot of people in politics. There's going to be the, the difference between your belief system and your philosophy and like what's right and what you've been, what your belief is. Your belief might feel right to you, but if not, it's going to ruin the lives of other people or harm them or destroy their world. You know, it, sometimes we've been taught things that ain't right. And uh, no one's taught us anything better. We don't know no better. I think this Pisces is going to give us an opportunity to start feeling again and doing things from a feeling place and not from simply the Mr. Spock intellectual place, which is where we've been in Aquarius season. Not everybody's been using their heart. Not everybody's been using compassion because Aquarius doesn't rule that. Aquarius is very thought provoking you know they're in their heads they're very intellectual Aquarius is one of the human signs I talk about this a lot okay in astrology there are only a couple of human signs there's Virgo there's Gemini there's Aquarius and I, some people say Libra, but I think that's more of an inanimate object, right? I think they're more inanimate because they're, they're really scales. I guess you could think of a person holding the scales as human, so, you know, whatever. But Aquarius is, is an actual water bearer. He's a person holding water and pouring it out. But the thing is, he's pouring out the emotion. He's not holding on to it. So we just came through two years, almost two years, of people really holding on to their emotions, maybe pouring it out, but not really not expressing their emotions the way they really should be. It's been up in the head. It's up here. Pisces is going to make us go here. Okay, this is where we got to go. You can feel certain things. Like I said, even a dog knows when he did wrong. You don't have to tell that dog he did wrong. That dog feels it. I got a little grand dog, Barkley. Love Barkley. If Barkley does something bad, he'll look at me like, like I know I did wrong. Are you gonna Are you gonna say something? Like they know, dogs 
No. Okay. So I feel like even babies know. Babies know when they do wrong. So when people act like they don't know, I'm like, uh uh-uh. Babies know. Dog. We know. It's just a matter of are we going to act on these things or are we not going to act on these things? And that's, that's the reality of it all. Right? And thank you, everybody who has been joining me. God bless you all for your support. I just have this on my heart and I wanted to come out and say it tonight because we are in the midst of a major change. We are about to go down into everything Pisces. So the sun's down in Pisces. The moon is going into Pisces. And we're going to have a new moon in Pisces at one degree and 22 minutes. One degree and 22 minutes of Pisces. So if you, in your horoscope, if you've got any planets in the mutable signs, I would say up to about 10 degrees, okay? Because you get a 10 degree orb with the sun and moon. Um, if you got any planets, like say at zero to one, uh, 10 degrees of Virgo, zero to 10 degrees of Sagittarius, zero to 10 degrees of Pisces, zero to 10 degrees of Sagittarius or Gemini, th- then you're going to really be directly affected. Also, if you got planets in the late signs of the the uh, fixed signs, mm, you're going to be feeling that too. So like if you've got, you're already feeling it right now. Like if you've got planets that are like from 25 to zero degrees of the fixed sign prior. So like, for instance, I've got my Venus at 28 degrees and 55 minutes of Scorpio. And I've got my Mars at 26 minutes of Leo in the seventh house. Y'all know I could not help myself. I had to come out here and make these videos. That's like, it's the square. It's the square. The action. The action. I had to act on the action. And that's exactly what's going to be going on for a lot of people. Um, I think it's all going to change as of tomorrow when we start feeling with our hearts again. Today, you might not feel it. We got the moon on, on Mercury in Aquarius. So I don't even know if some of y'all are getting what I'm saying right now. It might be going over your head because it's not going to your heart. But I'm gonna. I'll, I'll promise to <laughs> to share this later and and make little bits of it, and maybe you'll understand what I'm saying. We have got to start feeling here, not just here. We've been thinking a lot. We've been on the money, like the obsession with making money and being smart and thinking, and and you know the chat, the chat GPT, and 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 all the all these intellectual almost. Uh, technological type things, right? Lots of AI and stuff like that. We're going to be moving away from that and dealing with things like religion, uh, belief systems, compassion, charity work, helping your neighbors, taking in family members maybe because, you know, it's a recession. Um, it's going to be about helping your brother, man, your fellow man, not so much like in a curious way, but in a compassionate, caring, I'm going to cry and die for you kind of way, like the ride and die. We're going to see more of that over the next couple of years. That might be restricted though, right? If we get into a really cold place where there's war or there's famine or, or I, I don't even like thinking about it, right? But you might see a lack of compassion. Because Saturn rules shows us where things are lacking, where they're restricted, where there's less of it than there should be. And so in the area of Pisces, we're going to see less of what is the essence of Pisces, whether that's the music or the art the books, the creativity, the dancing, or if it's the philosophy, the caring. I know in, I, I think, it, I want to say it's Florida. Florida, I don't even think I want to visit Florida. Like, Florida is out, okay, for me. I don't even know how you could be in Florida and have brown skin. I'm just saying. But there was a video I saw where um, some guy was trying to feed the homeless, like a homeless shelter or something in Florida. And they came and shut him down and, and incited him for feeding people. That kind of thing. 
we're going to see that like almost where it's illegal to help other people or we're restricted from helping people that we've got to be careful about that. Again, that reminds me of that whole World War II, not, you know, German issue with the Jewish people where, you know, it, it, they used to have to hide like rats inside of the buildings because other people were not allowed to help them. If you helped them, they would kill you and your family. I hope we don't get back to that, Lord. I, there is so much more I can talk about with astrology. Like, where a, a Uranus is, do you know the when the 84-year Uranus thing? We're in that? Like, it's just scary. Anyway, um... Just saying tomorrow we're going to have this new moon in Pisces. I take advantage of it before Saturn gets there. We've got to the 7th of March before Saturn gets into Pisces. So take advantage of it. It should be creative. Make all your creative works as you, you know, as much as you can. Um, I, I don't think we're going to see too much restriction or the problem until after Saturn moves into Pisces. And then also we're going to have that full moon that's culminating in Virgo. And so that's coming as well. And then we're going to really start to see what this is and how it's all going to play out because it is going to be affecting us in some way. We've just got to be prepared for that and know that it's coming. So moving away from that for a moment, let's talk about where Venus is. Venus is at 28 degrees and 33 minutes of Pisces. Yes, it's trying my son. That's why I look so cute for 60. But look, this Venus in Pisces is going to be going into Aries after, you know, very shortly. And so we're going to be seeing a whole different type of Venus. Like Venus in Pisces has been very creative. Um, uh, lots of creativity, lots of people making videos and music and dancing and crazy. Like, have you seen the crazy Astro Boy shoes? I call them Disney, Disney uh, boots. But like the, those cute little red boots, I've got those on my, I made a video about them. Like cute little um, stuff like that happening with Pisces. Pisces, Venus, the fashion has been really fun and creative and otherworldly. But when Venus gets into Aries, it's going to be completely different. It's going to be new, first of all, but um, also more competitive. So expect more competitiveness. And I think this is going to really play up with Jupiter in the early degrees of Aries. Okay, Jupiter's at eight, nine degrees of Aries and we got Chiron at 13 degrees of Aries. So once Venus gets into Aries, we're going to, we're going to have a little stellium in Aries and it's a lot of fire. And um, it's a lot of competition. It's a lot of drive and passion. Um, but Chiron is there, okay? Chiron and Jupiter don't belong together. You know that, right? Chiron is crying. Jupiter is laughing. What are they doing together? It's not... <laughs> it's not... It's, it's going to be interesting to see the, them together, right? Uh, Chiron laughing, Jupiter... Uh, a Chiron crying and Jupiter laughing and Venus coming in to soothe over all the problems. So I think this might be a good time to to work out whatever issues or problems that you might have because Venus is coming in to soothe them over. I love that. Now, right now, Venus is technically still in a conjunct formation with Neptune. And again, I think that's why it's been a really creative week. I told you guys it was going to be creative this past week. I mean, because we we're coming out of the um, the full moon in Leo, so much creativity. And I knew as we were coming down into this Pisces new moon that it was just going to be full of creativity. And it has. It's very creative. It's been amazing, amazing time. Um, and I, I, I kid you not, I, I think I've made no less than 100 videos in the last two weeks. Like, it's just been crazy. I hope all of you have taken advantage of this creative period because it's been rare. And not everybody, um, I think, has taken advantage of it. Uh, Saturn is at uh, 28 degrees of Aquarius, as I mentioned. It's on its way to Pisces. It'll be there on the 7th, and it'll be affecting people's lives. I see Dark Clown wants to get in on this conversation. I'm going to accept Dark Clown. Let's see what Dark Clown wants to say. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if it went through or not. I just saw 
to solve dark cloud like if anyone wants to get in on the conversation i'm inviting you guys to come in and and do whatever it is you want to say right um i think i just missed dark clown someone says i was born and raised in florida and you are very right Ooh, so Flor florida's got a problem i'm telling you i am, am not in florida but just seeing what is happening in florida scares the living bejesus out of me like i'm like what that someone said that's the divide and conquer complex yeah yep 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 someone said thank you boss lady 27 yeah and others for contributing to the life oh that's great yeah someone says i have been feeling that shift there is a definitive shift it is a crazy time because you can literally feel the change i want you guys to pay close attention over this next week, because I feel like, or, or um, not this week, but we've got, what, two weeks, I guess it is, two weeks, uh, on the 7th. Come, this time from now, which is the 18th of, of February, so that's 10 days in February, right? And then we'll have seven days in March, so that's 17 days. The next 17 days. Basically, you know, until we get into this full moon in, in, in Virgo, it's we're in a, a, a culmination stage once we get past this new moon tomorrow. So don't do anything to like I'm doing this tonight, but I'm doing this because I had to do it for the new moon. OK, I felt like even on TikTok, I could feel like everything kind of slowed down over this week because when the moon is waning, it's slowing down. It's not growing. It's not growing okay but after tomorrow the everything's going to start growing again it's all going to start moving forward pushing forward change is going to happen and th that'll be your time if you want to make change in your life after tomorrow start on this 17 or be 16 days after tomorrow 16 day journey of whatever we're go you're going to do whatever you're going to create whatever it's going to take until we get to that Virgo full moon um, or right after that Virgo full moon. And I just feel like do what you can. Get all the knowledge you can. Finish everything you can. Get ready for, uh, you know, what's coming. Because Virgo is very rational. And when that full moon gets here, I feel like whatever this creative thing is, is really, it's going to be halted immediately. A Virgo will put an end to it. It'll just, because it's going to be very rational, it'll want the facts, nothing but the facts, and um, it'll be very analytical about everything that's going on. So we won't be dealing with just our, um, you know, our emotions and what we feel like we want, because right now we're in, all in our feelings. And that's really what this Pisces sun-moon conjunction is all going to be about. It's about being all in our feelings. That's, you know, in our heart. In our feelings, in our compassion, you'll see more people crying. Like, don't, do you remember years ago, me and my daughter still laugh about it. But years ago, there was this commercial with the Sarah McLaughlin song, In the arms of an angel, far away from here, right? And the dogs, the dogs would sit there and shiver. I, I can't, I used to sit there and watch that commercial and cry. <laughs> You're going to see a lot of that. People crying on commercial. Just a lot of um, uh, mushiness. I guess the word is a lot of mushy, uh, teary, whiny. There to be some whining maybe. I don't know. Um, but, it, you know, if, if you use it for creativity, I think that's the best way to use Pisces energy is with creative endeavors. Like whatever you can do creatively and protect your creative works of art protect them because i really believe that when saturn gets into pisces on the 7th our creativity is going to be restricted how it's going to play out i don't know i just know it will be okay um uranus is at 15 degrees of taurus and uh, the North Node is at six degrees of Taurus. Um, that North uh, North Node at six degrees. 
Um, it's actually aspecting the sun in a positive way um, because the sun gets a 10 degree orb. And so um, I think that's very good. Whatever you're led to do, do it. You know what I mean? If you're led to learn something new, learn it. If you feel like you've got this lesson that you have to learn, uh, definitely do that. I have a feeling though it might have something to do with communicating. And again, I'm going to say it again. If they get rid of TikTok, that is definitely restricting our communications, isn't it? And our creativity. And the fact that they're actually thinking about doing that is what makes it crazy because they're, we're right on the press of this, of that actually occurring in real life. Not just because Saturn's going into Pisces, but because they're really about to do that. So, yeah, it's to me when I see stuff like that, I'm like, wow, the fact that it's playing out in reality like it is, you know, it's one thing to see it on paper and it's another thing to see it happening for real. The other thing I'm going to I just wanted to say, because I'm looking at where Pluto is. Uh, let's not forget Pluto is going to be going into Aquarius it, a little bit. We got a little while, but it's at 29 degrees of Capricorn already it's in a faith degree already and um it i yeah what gets me about that is that all those balloons that have been floating over what what are those balloons where are they coming from um i've been very very wary about, about the balloon um yeah, just I, I would be really careful about that right now because, you know, basically 29 degrees of Capricorn is basically like zero degrees of Aquarius. Zero degrees of Aquarius, it, Pluto is craziness. That's UFOs. That's witches. That's that's the ghosts coming up. That's goblins. That's that's everything. You know that Pluto in Aquarius is about to happen, right? You realize what we're about to experience. I just, I mean, yeah, we were all born in this lifetime for a reason. Obviously, to experience something like Pluto in Aquarius, which I am not particularly excited about. I have Aquarius in the first house. I've been dealing with this Pluto in there for a minute, but I can tell you this is weirdness. And I want you all to know there's some strange weirdness that's about to go down. Also, like I said earlier about Aquarius, it's a very cold sign. And Pluto in a very cold sign is just doesn't feel right at all. Pluto is Hades. Pluto is hell. In a way. By the way, did you guys know it was Pluto Day? Happy Pluto Day! How many people knew it was Pluto Day? Uh, February 18th is Pluto Day. Pluto was discovered in 1930, I believe it was, on this day. So happy Pluto Day! Uh, February 18th is Pluto Day. Um, and here's the thing. I, I will say this because I'm old enough to talk about it. I still have not forgiven the astrological... Um, you know, community for turning Pluto into a planetoid and not a planet. I still consider it a planet. I I talk about Pluto a lot, as you can see. Uh, some of you youngins don't because y'all ain't been taught the right way. And it's because I've been telling you, like, it's not important. It's just a little asteroid is a planetoid. And I'm like, no, it's the smallest planet, but it's the most powerful. Don't count it out, especially in astrology. And I really saw the Pluto Capricorn issue all throughout the Pluto Capricorn. I mean, from the George Floyd to the, the five guys that just killed the boy. To, that's all the Capricorn power tripping. You know that, right? I. It, to me, it just played out in reality. That's all. And we're at the tail end of it, like the, you know, too much. Just think of a, like when I think about the power trip and think about why they got rid of Richard Nixon, because he was a Capricorn. He was like the, the epitome of a Capricorn. Why did, why did they get rid of him? It was the power tripping. 
They caught him on like on tape, power trip, and that's all. That's really and today that's all when I think about it, that's all it really was. He made a tape of himself power tripping. Like it was his tape in his oval office talking all the smack he wanted to say about the blacks or the you know, whatever he was saying. And he got caught and then they they it got exposed. Um but you know, he he, he was the president and it, it, to him he was all powerful and, and he got caught at it. Well, this is kind of like what Pluto's been going through. Some people get a little power. They don't know how to handle that power. Suddenly, like, let's say you, you have never had real power. But then all of a sudden you're a police officer and you're given a great deal of power. Not everybody knows how to handle that. Especially if it's Plutonian energy, which is basically destruction. Not everybody knows how to handle that. And I think we just saw it play out. That's what it looks like when it plays out in reality is people having others stand on their necks and, you know, beat them to death and stuff like that. So it's been ugly. Um, the most we can hope for with Pluto going into Aquarius is that it's going to be more rational, not so much about power, but about othering. And um, I think the power is going to be in othering and what I mean by that is um, Aquarius is other oriented. It's like they don't do anything alone. They're not supposed to anyway. They are other oriented. Their success comes when they work with a group, a club, organization, some org, you know, some association they belong to, like the, I don't know, the farmer's club or something. That's when Aquarius is really shine because they, they've got some thing that they're promoting or some others that they're with and the unity of what they they're doing um is what makes it amazing it's the unity of it all crises are known for the unity they're supposed to be about the unity which is why saturn and aquarius was so horrific because it kept us from having the unity i got back to that yeah see and that's what i meant about that but anyway Pluto there, I think the power is going to be in the unity. And what do I mean? I, I'm making a prediction right now that over the next 10 to 15 years, really, we're going to see where community, clubs, groups, um, special organizations, that's how people are going to survive. That's how people are going to live. Years ago, they used to say it takes a village, right? It takes a village. We're going to see that play out in real life. It's going to end up taking some kind of collective, some some kind of collective entity for, uh, we're going to see that during Pluto in Aquarius. Believe me, you watch. It's all, we might even see that uh, one of the key words is the word unity. We might see that. Um, that might be a word. Like they've been getting rid of the word. They've been trying to get rid of the word equity, right? But I think what we're going to see a lot more is unity. That's going to be big. I, I really, that's my prediction. Anyway, you guys, I've been sitting here talking about the planets. I've just been running my mouth. I want to just tell you guys, I wanted to tell you about the changes. Because we're at the brink of massive changes. It's, it's going to be a different vibe, right? I feel like at the heart of everything, we've been restricted from communicating, doing things together, the togetherness of uh, being human. But when Pluto gets into a, Aquarius, that's going to be everything. We're going to be having to do probably everything together. The power will come from the togetherness. So it's a whole different vibe. Also, I think with um, Jupiter and Aries right now, uh, being courageous, taking a chance, not being afraid, that's going to be a major focus for this year, uh, for sure. And I, I believe with the focus in Pisces with Saturn, I just don't want people to lose their humanity Hold on to your compassion. Remember that when it feels like there's none left. Because you might start feeling that with Saturn in Pisces. It might feel like you've lost 
that ability to feel and to have compassion for other for other people. But don't lose that, okay? Don't lose that. So you guys, I'm out of here. Let's put some music on. I'm going to party out. I just wanted to come for a few minutes. I didn't want to stay forever. I, I just had a couple of things I wanted to say, and I'm, I'm glad I came to say it. So much love, much light, many blessings. This has been Adrian Capricorn Tigress of Astrology. I look inside. Yes. <laughs> much love to you. Bye. <laughs> and I'm going to get much better with this, I promise. Someone said, oh, wow, I'm a Capricorn. And I've had a great day today. It's been a great day. I know. I love it. I love it. It's been a great day. Much love to you. Much love to you. Someone said, I had a great day today. Yes. Someone said, hey, Miss Lady. Capricorn. My Capricorn. <laughs> My Capricorn. Love you, Capricorn. Yes. Much love to you guys. Much love. And by the way, I make this music. If anyone wants copy free music, let me know. I make it on my AI program. I do. So just know. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, you guys. I never knew how to stop these. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm like, oh, I stop it. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> 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 so funny. Wait a minute, there it is. I think. There it is. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>